To help with this question, I drew the graph. The graph you're looking at is for a recessionary gap. So the real output we're producing is below or to the left of the long run full employment GDP. So remember, if full employment is like four to 6% unemployment, we must have more than that. We must have something like nine or 8% unemployment. A recessionary gap. It turns out there's a huge debate over what do you do to solve this problem. The good news is you only need to know about two separate groups. The two main camps are Keynesian economists and classical economists. Keynesians prefer that the government gets involved with some sort of fiscal or monetary policy. For example, increasing government spending would shift aggregate demand and would close that recessionary gap. Classical economists prefer that market forces deal with this issue because the government will just go and screw things up. If we have a recessionary gap with high unemployment, how might just market forces get us back to a new long-run equilibrium? Well, if wages and resource prices are flexible, that means that eventually workers will accept lower wages, right? I'd rather have a job than no job, and so prices and wages would fall, causing aggregate supply to shift to the right. When that happens, price level will fall and we back out full employment. Well, who's right? Go ahead and watch the Keynes versus Hayek rap videos on YouTube. They're phenomenal. I leave it up to you to decide who wins. It's story time! It was time for a story and Kyle relax a little bit before we move forward. Now, another quick story with that kid Kyle. At the end of the year, we had some extra time after the AP test, and so we decided to have kind of a playing game sort of day. We played Pictionary, heads up, seven up, we were playing four corners, we mess around in class, and then Kyle says, hey, I got an idea, let's play sardines. So sardines kind of like hide and go seek. One person runs off and hides, and everybody else tries to find them. When other people find them, they stay with them until everyone finds that person. And we're gonna do it on the school campus. We're gonna block off certain areas and say you can't go in classrooms, you can't disrupt other classes, and this is the areas you can kind of be in. So we kind of set up all the rules. Then I asked the class, who wants to be the person who's gonna go and hide? Of course, Kyle said, me, 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 I'll do it all day, I'll go hide. So I was like, great. Kyle, you go hide, and we'll wait like two minutes and they'll come after you. Kyle's all excited, he runs out of the room. So the second he leaves, I tell the class, all right, what else do you guys wanna play? and we played other games in class for the rest of the period. Now here's why this is so funny. I want you to imagine Kyle. He went and hid somewhere for like 30 minutes. So you know like the first five minutes he was thinking like, oh yeah, I'm really good at this, they're not gonna find me. And then the next five minutes he was like, damn, I am really good, no one's found me yet. The next five minutes he's probably sitting there thinking, where is everybody, man, they really suck at finding people. Now finally he must have figured out what was going on and just been like super upset. The best part was the part where he walked back in the classroom. This is 30 minutes later and as a class we completely forgot about him. You guys are all ass. The whole class just explodes in laughter. It was absolutely hilarious. Thanks for the good times, Kyle. You guys are all ice holes.